Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go right out of the gate on this hump day Wednesday. Again, hopefully things are starting off well for you. Hopefully you even got a little bit of rain overnight. I tell you what, some folks did. Some folks got some pretty generous helpings of rain and, well, even some thunderstorm activity overnight. We'll talk about that coming up. Uh, we're still in this pattern where we may have an opportunity of rain and storms truly through the overnight period each of the next several days. Chances looking a little more minimal. We'll talk about that. And then, of course, what's on the horizon. It's Memorial Day weekend. We will be running down uh, that forecast as we go over the next few minutes and through the hour as well. So 84, that's my forecast at high for today. Down a couple degrees from yesterday. I think some of this morning cloud cover may hang around even into the early afternoon, kind of putting a bit of an edge on the temperature as we go through the day and even through the afternoon hours. It's still a 20% opportunity, uh, maybe a stray shower, thunderstorm. But again, for a lot of us, I think we're truly, uh, again, drying up the precipitation now. But this is what we did overnight, right? We had that complex of storms that came in from West Texas and parts of the big country. It was pretty loud, right? Thunder, lightning. It was noisy, but the good news is it wasn't severe. It was just general variety Texas thunderstorms. And again, they definitely put down some rain, right? A lot of locations picking up an inch, some locations picking up nearly two inches. Look at Northern Tarrant County here in the Metroplex, just north of downtown Fort Worth, nearly two inches of rain as well. Meanwhile, here in Dallas County, as the activity approached, it basically dried up and vaporized. And for the most part, Dallas County, we basically didn't get much in the way of any rain whatsoever. So there's what's left of the complex, right? We've still got a few lingering showers, even on your morning commute. Again, here in the Metroplex, again, we had a few widely scattered showers, not much in the way of meaningful precipitation. Again, could we bubble up a stray shower or thunderstorm as we go through the afternoon? Again, it's about that 20% opportunity, but again, through the afternoon hours, I am anticipating most of us remaining dry. The black line out to the west, it's the dry line. We've been talking about it each and every day as we go through the week. We'll be talking about it all the way into the weekend. Rainstorms develop again along the dry line. And again, those will move into parts of West Texas, potentially into our Western counties. So there goes the complex from last night. Again, you can see in the water vapor imagery, that is a real deal complex of activity. Obviously that continues to push off to the Southeast, but notice the motion here, right? It's up and over the ridge. Okay, so then it's draining the flow, the overall mid-level flow here, draining down into North Texas, but it's going to begin to adjust itself ever so slightly, right? This is the reason why as storms form out to the west over the last several nights, they've been moving into our western counties. But the area of low pressure, big deep storm trough, you see it out there across parts of, uh, well, the deep south, that's actually going to move back to the west. We call that retrograding. And the only reason why I'm giving you all these details is because the ridge of high pressure that's out here to our west that's allowing this flow to drain in well it's going to go up just a little bit further to the north right it's going to get a little bit stronger and it's going to put us more in the way of northerly flow as opposed to northwesterly so the activity as opposed to kind of clipping our western counties like it has the last several nights i think it's going to be moving more north to south and it's going to take away some of those rain chances. In fact, throughout the rest of the work week, I'm really beginning to dial those rain chances down. You can see that outlined here from the Storm Prediction Center outlook. Storms form to the north, but the, truly as we go through the evening and the overnight, they roll more north to south the way it looks tonight. Similar story even as we get into tomorrow, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday, Similar story, uh, the opportunity of activity making it into our western counties, again, just looking more and more minimal. So let me go and show you this. Again, this is the model. Again, we may have a couple of splash or dash variety showers as we go through the afternoon. Really nothing major with that. Here comes the activity forming off the dry line again. And here we go. Take a look at this. Moving more north to south as it approaches our western counties, basically vaporizes. So it's still a low end opportunity. One more night tonight of some activity approaching from the west. But again, by and large, I think for the most part, we're going to be just a bit drier over the next several days. Good rains, though, continue out to the west in our Texas panhandle and again, parts of West Texas areas that really do need the rain. So we'll be in the lower to mid 80s for daytime highs. There's that opportunity, mainly as we head into the evening of additional thunderstorms developing. Speaking of your evening, again, temperatures from the 80s into the 70s. We'll call it a fair evening out there, a little on the humid side. Overnight lows back down into the 60s, generally around the area. And then as we head into our Thursday, more in the way of 80s across the area, maybe just a touch less warm than our western county, similar to today. Again, you can see one more opportunity tonight and then unsettled even into the weekend as well.